Father, yesterday evening the IOTA conference finished. Today we had a wonderful pilgrimage to Meteora. Uh, what are your impressions of the IOTA conference? It was such a wonderful experience. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I felt very privileged to be here. Um, having so many people from so many different backgrounds mm -hmm. all over the world, from um, not only the Eastern Orthodox family, but the Oriental Orthodox, and there were some Anglicans and mm -hmm. Catholics mm -hmm. and Lutherans as well. And it was just such a rich environment uh, with so many interesting ideas going around, but also meeting all the interesting people was just terrific. Sure. So it's been such a great experience. Any highlights in particular sessions that stood out to you or that you particularly enjoyed? I know you presented at a session. Um, yeah. Tell us a little about that. Um, I th look, I think the, the big problem with this conference was that there was too much going on. <laughs> and in many of the time slots, there were just too many interesting sessions mm. to go to. Um, I particularly enjoyed, of course, the the topics that I'm interested in, you know, particularly around sort of uh, the philosophy and, and, and the sort of mystical theology sort of uh, um, line. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also found the social topics were very, very interesting. Uh, I, I feel I had a big education during this conference as to what's actually happening. It was a, a really good way to take the pulse of what's happening in the Eastern Christian world on the, rel the very relevant topics that are around today, most of which are very thorny and very difficult, mm -hmm. but were handled with honesty, with courage, mm -hmm. um, with mutual respect, I have to say, uh, and uh, it, it got me thinking in many new ways about topics that uh, are difficult ones, mm -hmm. are thorny ones, and, and I think that can only be good for the life of the church as a whole, for people to come together and be able to do this. Sure. Uh, jumping off of that, uh, how do you think about how IOTA might continue to serve the church in the future? Uh, well, uh, definitely, I think this is a think tank for the church. This is a place where ideas can come to be tested, mm -hmm. um, and it's a place where uh, maybe more so than any other arena in church life, uh, where we can have the openness to test these ideas mm -hmm. and work out which ones stand you know, and which ones fall. Um, and definitely the building of relationships, I sure. think, a, a, on a personal level of people from the different uh, backgrounds is wonderful. And uh, I already feel rather enthusiastic about going back and building better relationships with you know, people in other churches mm -hmm. around me because I've just found it so enriching. Definitely as an Oriental Orthodox uh, priest, mm -hmm. uh, I, I feel very happy that we are able to come into contact with our Eastern Orthodox brothers and sisters and have these respectful discussions and understand each other better. Sure. I think there is so much that goes wrong in church life because of misunderstanding, mm -hmm. because of barriers and mm -hmm. distances between people. Mm -hmm. So I think what IOTA does really well and I hope will continue to do in the future is to bring more and more of the Eastern Christian world in mm -hmm. so that we can break down those barriers and sure. bridge those gaps. We may not agree in the end, but I think we will f have moved closer to that unity in Christ, which all of us crave. Absolutely. Father, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Lovely to talk to you, Marika. Thank you.